okay so the first thing i'm going to showcase is the actual uh, main scene um you didn't see it there but essentially there was a token you had to enter there but i made it so if it was already entered it saves and it just loads you straight into the main main area of the software uh so here you have an input field and in the input field i can specify an image i would like to create uh using open ai uh, so let's say i wanted to create okay so a spider web on a solid black background so i can pick uh, whichever size i want i'm just going to pick the smallest one i can also pick um what kind of um mesh i want to display the generated image on i'll just go for the basic cube and then i can just pick the rotation of the cube just you know quality of life things and i can pick whether i want it to be transparent or not now when i activate that here you can see for transparency ensure the generated image has a solid black background this is because these images aren't pngs or anything so by default they cannot have a solid black back uh, they cannot have like transparency to them but um let me just press process here and while this is happening basically the, in order to achieve uh, transparency i have researched a shader which allows me to do that uh and basically it's kind of it's a chroma chrome chroma shader thing type of deal so basically if you know anything about video editing you can treat i basically treat the black background kind of like a green screen so i just remove the black background and if you see it there you can see the black background removed now i can also uh save this image and if i save it here you can see the name i can edit the name uh, by default it's whatever the prompt you put in to create the image then i can also edit the description and by default the description it says the image size and the date and time it was created on now it is important to also add a tag um, to best describe the image now you can add more tags but essentially i just ended up with these tags uh, these tags are useful for the demos i have uh, prepared and for this purpose this is going to be a spider web so if i press save it is now saved so if i go to saves you can hear you can see here a bunch of different uh images but i believe this is the one i just saved uh and it says when it was saved and the name and blah 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 you can i can also activate the transparency here um the other cool thing is i can change the meshes whatever but i can also update texture so what that essentially means um i can update the information regarding the texture and it's kind of um good to note here that it also says the texture id here the id is based on how many images were generated and basically every with with e, with each image the id increases and yeah that's how i identify the images and you can change the tag here description whatever i'm just gonna cancel okay so that essentially um covers everything to do with the main scene um yeah so that's the main scene